Hi, welcome to Northern Thrifters. My name is Melinda and today I have a Dollar Tree haul to share with you guys. So I've got a couple bags of stuff here. I'll show you. <laughs> so let's just get into it and I can show you what I picked up. So I will let you know before I begin, if you are a fan of puzzles, then this video is for you because I went a little bit crazy at the Dollar Tree and bought a lot of puzzles. If you've never been there before, like you will be very surprised to find how many puzzles that they have in stock. They have anywhere from like the 24 piece puzzles that are more geared to um, smaller children all the way up to 500 piece so and all of them are a dollar 25 each so a really good deal and I found uh, so far that the puzzles that we've purchased are actually fairly good quality and a few of these we've opened so I'll show you the pieces on the inside so you can see what I mean by the half decent quality for a dollar 25 but enough me yapping about puzzles let's just get into this and I can show you what I got so let's pick out a couple things that aren't puzzles first. So the first item that I picked up is by Crayola and it's an activity book. They call it the A Beginner's Guide to Crayola Calligraphy. It says easily learn the art of calligraphy and you use it with Crayola Broadline or Super Tip Markers, which we have a ton of. If you're like me who have kids, you have a lot of markers. And I did like the quality of the pages on the inside and I'll show you kind of what it's like on the inside. So it has the practice area and then you can do it on your own here for each letter. And they actually have also um, words you can practice near the end when you get a little bit better. And I thought this was kind of um, just a fun activity to learn kind of fancy writing. So I thought my kids would really like to do that. And then they had a bunch of different activity pads that were themed with like licensed characters. And the one that I really liked was the My Little Pony activity pad. And this one, um, well, they say lots of ponytastic coloring and activities to do. So this is a mix of coloring and activity pages. And some pages are both like coloring and an activity. And I can show you, um, like the quality in here is, is quite good. So here's one of the coloring pages that you can do and then it has different like little activities like mazes and things like that so here's one of the like a maze page so it'd be good for younger or even you know older children and I have to say I really love My Little Pony. <laughs> when I was a kid, this was the um, thing that I collected was My Little Pony and all of like the barns and the castle and the nursery and all of that. And actually I still have all of my My Little Pony from when I was a kid. It's, it takes up a huge space in our storage room, but I have yet to get rid of it and I'm in my mid forties. I don't think I'll ever get rid of it, but um, yeah, let me know down in the comments. Were you into My Little Pony like me? And do you still have a ton of your My Little Pony toys? Let me know that I'm not alone in this. That would be great. <laughs> All right, so let's get into some of the puzzles. Here, I need to move this chair a little bit closer. It is too far away. Okay, so we'll start with some of these 100 piece puzzles. And we've opened these ones already. My one daughter is very into puzzles right now. So uh, so the first one is this super cute Pomeranian. Just couldn't leave this little guy at the store. And that's the actual puzzle piece size there. It's kind of hard, I know, on camera to show you. But I will show you the quality because I am really impressed with these. Let's find a piece that will show up well. So you can see here, that's kind of the size compared to my hand. And what's nice, it's not the cheap, see how it's not bending? Like this is decent cardboard that they have made this on. So, you know, it's not those cheap, hard to put together, like where it feels like the pieces are gonna rip or get broken or bent. These are fairly good quality for $1.25. So if you're thinking about buying these ones, these puzzle bug ones, like they, they're pretty good for a buck twenty-five. So another puzzle bug that we found is this three horses one. And this one was so pretty when it was put together. Like the colors are gorgeous on this. Like it's quite a nice one. It's actually one that I would consider like doing Mod Podge on and then put it in a frame or something. Like it's quite nice for a girl's room or well, even a boy's room, you know, anybody could like this kind of puzzle. And then this one, I think 
I, it's either a squirrel or a chipmunk. I'm not a biologist, so I'm not sure. It's one of those. <laughs> With a daisy. And I just thought it was kind of cute holding the little daisy. And then I found some 500 piece puzzles. And these ones we haven't opened yet. So this is, um, oh, it is puzzle bug. It just looked different printing on there. So it's a 500 piece puzzle bug. And this one is all little uh, bird houses. And this is the actual size here. So this one looks like they are smaller pieces. Like if you can see the size difference in the piece, the 500 piece is smaller than um, the other one. So that's the first one. And then I got the hot air balloons because, oh my gosh, that's such a gorgeous puzzle. I love hot air balloons. I don't know if I ever really want to go in one but I do really like looking at them. <laughs> and actually one time when my husband and I, when we first married, it was a long time ago, over 20 years ago, 25 years ago, I don't even know. Um, we went to, I believe it was Armstrong in BC and they were having some kind of hot air balloon festival or something because they were landing in this field area near Armstrong. And honestly, it was gorgeous. Like. To see them landing up close, like how big they are, like it's beautiful. Let me know, have you ever ridden in a hot air balloon? And, and what was it like? I'm very curious about that. So another 500 piece that we picked up from Puzzle Bug again, or I picked up, I'm the only one going to the store. I always say we, because if you're like a, a mom like me, you are, okay, let, let's put it this way. Do you feel when you go shopping by yourself, like you're almost naked because you're not with your kids? That's honestly how I feel. It's like I'm missing a part of myself or something. And I have actually found myself talking out loud, like, like my child is with me or more than one of my kids. And I think people think I'm nuts, but <laughs> that's just how I am. I'm so used to having my kids with me. The last couple months, it's been very strange for me to go shopping by myself. So yeah, I'm not sure. Let me know if you're like that. And I still say we, even though it is only me, <laughs> but normally it's like I have at least one, if not more of my kids with me. So this one, let's get back to the puzzle. I don't know why I'm talking so much today. I haven't talked to many uh, grownups lately. That <laughs> be why since I've been stuck at home. So this one I liked, if you've watched my channel, you know I love coffee and tea. And this one is all like different coffee uh, things. So there's coffee cups, it says cafe. I thought this one might be kind of fun to put together, a little bit more difficult. So that's kind of a neat one. And then off, off the puzzles for a sec, they had a really big Play-Doh section and they had these really cute little um, Play-Doh tools and molds. And I thought, you know what, I'm gonna get us some new ones of these. So they have different little like cookie cutter type things. They have a roller in here. And then there's these different molds that you fill, right, with the Play-Doh and then pop that off. And I thought for about 25 to get some brand new ones of that, like pretty good. And I just noticed there's actually the Play-Doh scissors in there too. So it's kind of a fun little thing to find. And they had a ton of Play-Doh if you were looking for that. All right, and then another thing that's not <laughs> puzzle themed, I picked up something very random, is a bag of combs because we are always needing combs in this house. And I thought this is a 12 pack for a buck 25, like that's less, well, it's around 10 cents, a little over 10 cents a uh, comb, like pretty good. If you end up losing it, like it doesn't even matter. It's only a dime. So I thought that was pretty good. And then now back to some more puzzles because like I say, I went a little crazy. So uh, once again, puzzle bug, and this is a uh, 300 piece puzzles this time. So we'll see now, here's that smaller one. These pieces are that size. So they're slightly larger than the 500 piece. So this is like Sundays, well ice cream Sundays. I thought that was pretty. And then, oh yeah, these were cool. These were 100 piece ones. And they were, they're all like Canada themed animals. So they had beaver, I think there was like a bobcat one. So the ones that I picked out were these bears. And I just love like kind of how artsy it looks. Like it's kind of neat if you think about it. Like it's sort of painted. So the mama bear and the baby bear. And then there was the moose. So that's, I guess, the mom and the baby again. 
wonder if the other one I bought is mom and <laughs> baby. I never noticed that till now. So there's this one. Really pretty art, I thought. Now let me get these ones out of here. I know, I bought so many puzzles. Like, the lady at the till must have thought I was crazy. And then, yeah, so this is mother and baby again. Oh, I didn't notice. <laughs> That's so weird. So another 100 piece. And this one is Fox. So I thought... That's pretty good. Actually, at our house, we're not a huge fan of fox. Um, one year, they a fox got all of our chickens, like every single one. It's like, why do you need to eat all of them? Like, anyway, I'm not a huge fan, but it was it's a pretty picture. <laughs> and then I found some more 300 piece. So this is flip flops. I thought that one might be kind of fun to do, kind of difficult. And this stack, I, I honestly, I am crazy. I'm gonna show you the stack at the end. And then this one I thought was kind of neat with the cars on it, it's pretty cool. I really like that, looks nice. And then this one here, it says Route 66, rock and roll. So with all like the different neon signs. So I'm just gonna show you, hopefully I don't drop it, how many <laughs> puzzles I bought. Like, I mean, at the till, people must have thought I was nuts, but whatever. Oops, I'm bumping you. It's fun, right? And then the last thing I found is chalk. And I have to tell you how hard this was to find. On my last couple trips to Dollarama, I've looked for chalk. No. I looked for chalk because I had to go to Walmart for, I can't remember what it was for. I thought, well, I'll look for chalk there, right? No chalk. Then I thought, well, maybe Staples Online has it? No. The only thing they had was like the big teacher size, you know, where you get a bazillion pieces of chalk and I don't want <laughs> that many, I just want 12. So I thought, well, at Dollar Tree, I'll look. And sure enough, they had two packs of this chalk left. So I picked up one of them. So I was really excited to find that for $1.25 and I didn't have to buy a giant thing of it. Well, I wouldn't have, but still. So yeah, chalk, that was the last thing that I found. So let me know down in the comments, do you shop at Dollar Tree or do you even have a Dollar Tree near you? Or do you shop at some other type of dollar store? Let me know down in the comments. And while you're down there, be sure to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.